Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, welcome to August. Um, you are wrapping up a lot of things, and I also feel like you have a lot of open um, new invitations that are coming, but they're still a little bit delayed because we are still wrapping things up. We are also going to be starting a major retrograde season very soon, and then it's your birthday. So like you're in your last few chapters before your new cycle starts again on your birthday. And with that being said, it's like this 10 of swords really says it all. <laughs> and this nine of wands, okay. This 10 of swords and nine of wands, I feel like some of you are just feeling you're so close to like getting something finished. And then you know you can start this new chapter. You can start this fresh cycle, but that Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, both reversed. And I have a Four of Wands reversed. And I have a Judgment card reversed. With a King of Pentacles and you have the Queen of Pentacles. With an Eight of Swords and a Seven of Swords. So some of you could be a little bit stressed about money or you're trying to figure out how you want to um, invest your time, your energy, or your money. Maybe some of you will be reviewing your investments up until now, and that can be connected to your habits, your behaviors, um, your commitments to who or what, different projects or um, companies or people or whatever, but just your overall commitments and trying to see, like, does this actually have, like, a, you know, benefit? Like, and when I look at this Four of Wands reverse, I really feel like your foundations are really changing. Like you have this opportunity now to plant new seeds and to understand that like where your attention goes, energy will flow and things will grow. So it's like, you don't wanna be focused on the things that stress you out. You don't wanna be focused on negative habits. You don't wanna be focused on negative people or bad toxic cycles or projects or old energies or whatever. It's like, this is an opportunity for you to reset. And keep in mind, your, oh shit, true, thank you. Uh, the south node is now in your sign. If you haven't taken the nodes workshop, bitch, like if there is one thing that you ever download and watch from me, it better be that workshop. Why? Because this is a huge cycle for you. The next 18 months are like literally life-changing. And that's because with the south node in your sign, the opportunity to release and to integrate and to apply all of the learning that you've done over the last like fucking 20 years or whatever, it's like, this is such a huge opportunity for you to actually clear out any and all old connections, habits, um, limiting beliefs, like just things that don't benefit you now because maybe you picked things up, maybe you started, I don't know, behaviors or ideas or these like self limitations when you needed them. Maybe it was like for, you know, self, self um, soothing or uh, a protective or a survival technique, but like now you don't need that. You don't need to continue to believe that. You don't need to continue to, okay, for example, um, in high school, let's, this is just like a random example in high school or college, you got stressed, you had a heartbreak, you noticed that, you know, your parents divorced and you never really, you never really, um, processed that. And you had a lot of emotions coming up and then you started to feel a little bit depressed or angry or sad or frustrated, or you're just stressed with school or, or, or friends or whatever. So in that moment, what do you do? You, you see other people doing drugs or drinking or smoking cigarettes or having sex or shopping or maybe you just fall into a little bit of like overeating or whatever it is. And it's fine, like we're all human, like we all have that. Like we all have that. So you started picking up a habit that at that time helped you find relief, <sighs> right? Okay, beautiful, fine, don't beat yourself up, it's fine. Now, you don't need that. Like now you are older, you are wiser, you have more resources, you have more knowledge, you have more access to whatever you need for healthier support, healthier options. And you still do some of these old things because they're comfortable, because you know that at that time it would help. So your mind, your ego is trying to protect you and keep you in, keep you in a cycle of 
help and of support for yourself, self soothing. Oh my God, soothing. So like this overall energy is like, there was a time where we picked something up. Okay, we started a behavior and a habit and that's fine. And now we still do it, but we don't need it. And that, for example, can also be self-limiting beliefs. Like maybe at the time you were dating another person and they were taking advantage of you, they were lying, um, cheating, there was abuse or whatever. And you at that time had a belief that you don't deserve something better, so you stayed. And then whatever, you broke up, but now you still notice that you cycle through different relationships that have a similar energy as that one because there's still this underlining energy, this old program in the back of your mind that tells you you don't deserve something better or you don't deserve something more stable. That can be connected to your work, to your relationship with money. So all of these old programs, and they take time to discover, to find out, to um, start investigating and figuring out how to clear and cut and whatever. And that's beautiful. Like that's the process of being human. That's why we're here so that we can clear and we can level up, right? Because when we drop these old programs, when we drop these limitations, when we drop these old cords, because these are all belief systems and energies that we are still attached to. These are habits. We have cords attached to all these things. That's why I'm saying go take the cord cutting workshop. That is the Venus retrograde workshop. Venus retrograde right now is impacting you the most because Venus is your ruling planet. Venus is connected to you, Libra and Taurus. So also if you have Taurus in your chart, bitch. Two workshops for you, homework, the nodes workshop and the Venus retrograde workshop, okay? We also have a full moon right now, but like, I would just say, fuck that. Just focus on the other two. It's like, this is serious business. Now, what is important is that those relationships to all of these things, when you decide that you deserve better because you do, um, all of those old sort of layers, those deep programs that sort of run in the background and like control your life because subconsciously they're influencing your choices. Like you start to shine a light on them and you can see them all as issues and then you can start clearing them. So that's when we decide to cut these cords and clear these out. They can also be connections to old people in our life. So maybe there are still energies from your parents their belief systems. Maybe it's from an ex or an old teacher or whatever, but like we can't continue to go back to these old cycles. Now with the South node in Libra, we have an opportunity to recognize where is our mind being drained because we are stressing or worrying or thinking about the same things, the same things over and over and over these self-limiting beliefs, these old ideas, um, where are we still stuck in old addictive cycles? Okay, with this devil card here, see how these people are chained? Those are the cords, you're gonna cut them after this workshop, right? You're gonna go, Venus retrograde workshop, you're gonna cut these fucking cords. See these cords? So we cut them because those cords are actually leading to self-sabotage, self-sabotage, self-sabotage. And we don't need that. We don't need the self-sabotage anymore because we now understand with more clarity, King of Swords and the Queen of Cups, that we actually deserve more balance. With the self node in Libra, that energy is like, whew, whatever has been out of balance, now we have an opportunity to re... We have an opportunity to apply all of the learning that we've done so that we can bring in more balance into our life. So what does that mean? It means that you over the next year and a half will be going through a massive identity change. Your personality will be changing, your behaviors will be changing, your relationships, your romantic relationships, friendships, family, how you show up in the world your responsibilities, your roles, everything will be changing and that's beautiful. You should invite that in because what you are actually doing is establishing better resources, more money, four of coins reverse, the tower. Let these foundations go. Remember that four of wands, four of wands reverse. These old foundations, these old structures, these old 
personality traits, these old behaviors and habits, the survival mechanisms, the things that we would do. It's like, you don't need that bitch. You are leveling up, so let yourself expand. Now, the last thing I want you to really focus on is making more available space for these aces to come in, okay? We have an ace of cups, we have an ace of wands. This is new romantic partners. This is new collaborations. This is taking new action and establishing better routines and structures because you deserve it and now you understand that. And the other thing is this other bitch, this other shit, this is dead. This is a dead horse. If you stand here and you keep kicking it, kicking it, kicking it, kicking it, kicking it, bitch, that horse is not getting up and riding off. That horse be dead, bitch. So it's like, let it go, okay? And stop stressing about it. Like this eight of swords, it's like, let it go. Trust. Trust the process. Trust that small voice in the back of your mind. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. Like, follow yourself. Don't pay attention to your mind when it's trying to trick you and tell you that you don't deserve it or you need to go back. It's like, no, no, no. We're focusing on leveling up, okay? I love you, Libra. If you want support, please go watch the nodes workshop because that is the most important transit for you this year and the venus retrograde workshop i'm going to help you cut those cords okay the other thing is please send this to another libra share this on an instagram story i support you you support me i love you i'll see you very soon and don't miss this full moon workshop that one's free it's like donation based so pay one dollar i don't care but like we have a full moon right now so there's a lot happening so go click on the link in my bio um check out my website you'll see everything there I love you and it's a very busy time in the stars, so use this energy wisely, okay? Ciao.